Welcome back to another Skyrim Mods Under 5. I know I've been gone a while and that's because of Modder Syndrome. If you do not know what that is, I got a link for you in the description for a fun little read. Let's forget about the long intro and just get right into it. Today we will be discussing EMBs, how they're installed, and what their benefits are. So an EMB is basically a modding tool that will allow your Skyrim to get a nice budget increase in the looks department. This is done by applying presets that allow for different lighting effects to be displayed in the game. Um, it's a very oversimplified definition of what it actually does, but I'm doing this for time's sake. Uh, so I'll give you a visual example at the end of the video. We will start by downloading EMB series from Skyrim SC. I will provide links down in the description box below for this section, so just, you know, check there for that. For anyone viewing this in the future, please always choose the very first one at the top when choosing the version of EMB series. That will be the most recent version. Once we've clicked that link, you will now be moved over to the actual downloads page. You want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see the downloads icon there. Click that download icon and it will start downloading EMB series. From here you have a lot of options in terms of your EMB. Uh, I will definitely say the best way you can go with choosing an EMB is based off of your computer system. So do make sure to check the system requirements for each and every EMB you look into. For the sake of this video, I will be using the Rudy EMB with Cathedral Weather, so just be mindful of that my system might be different than yours. From here, you want to locate your Steam library, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, find your Skyrim Special Edition folder. From there, we will go ahead and open up our zip folder that holds the EMB series. You want to always choose the wrapper version, don't use the others. Go into the EMB series folder, and once you do that, you want to go ahead and select all of them. I intentionally decided to leave out the top two links that were text files, but just for your own purposes and just for safety's purpose sake, go ahead and download every single file in this folder and then move it into your Skyrim Special Edition or if you're in Legendary Edition, your Skyrim Legendary Edition folder. We will now be doing your ENB. So open up whatever ENB you decide to install. Make sure to read the readmes because each and every one will have its own different set of preset rules. So I'm going to go ahead with mine. Going to the Skyrim folder again, there might be a readme. Read it, make sure you read it. The key part of this that you want to make sure to install is the ENB series, ENB local, and ENB series. Any. All three of those files are vital to get your mod working. So once you've installed those, you will have to replace the files in that destination. Go ahead and click that. And there you go. You have now installed your ENB. And as promised, I have provided a video with a comparison of the two once you've loaded into game. Now you will see to the left that the lights do typically shine a lot brighter. There is less of a dull hue on the wall. You'll see a lot more uh, little details as well appear. Uh, I wish I could get better footage of this, but hey, enjoy it. I will try and get better at this, but really uh, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video.